fight coming up next. It's a UFC heavyweight showdown. the strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful the first kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people so, believe, yeah, his opponent is in a so, world of trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 239 pounds. Bazooka! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big body kick lands. Oh, crisp boxing here, the right punch followed immediately up by a left. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? 
All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And wow. Oh, there it is. All right, side control now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Nice move into half guard. Shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that goal. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job passing. Under three minutes to go in round one. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Great punch landing with so much power. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, that right hand is on point. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, straight right. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Huge elbows! Let's focus. Let's focus. Oh, straight right. Oh, big head kick there. Oh! Punch over the top. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, nice straight punch there by Lee. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Right on the elbow. Oh, my All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive press. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting to starts to really wear Ready. at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. Nice punch lands over the top. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ah, 
How good is that right hand? Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Ooh, head kick lands from Hurt. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well that he drops a big right hand after him, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, big head kick. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. And they separate. And he landed the right hand there. Both fighters throwing heat now. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. He just seems much more confident and comfortable on the feet. Clipped him with a right hand there. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Plus right hand is true. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Nice punch by Lee. Tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, man, that left hand is so educated, and he led with it there. He's so comfortable throwing it that he will use it in place of a jab sometimes. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, big punch, man. He's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. And they separate. Ten minutes in the books. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round.
right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, then a left. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Beautifully placed in time. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Straight punch lands. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Just misses there with the left. Overhand telegraph though, it gets blocked. Big punch from the clinch. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Good stick. Go. Big head kick lands. Right hand on point. Please head kick attempt, that one is blocked. All oh, collar tie. Unable to connect with a right hook. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed that Jitsi throws is crazy. I mean, he hasn't thrown one leg kick this whole time. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice punch there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big kick land. Just missed with the left there. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Unable to land with that punch. There. Every 
time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponents on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. Oh! oh that's over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. That's a big strike right there. Oh! Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Blocks the shot. What a punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it. And he's attempting it over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? They continue to exchange. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. What a tricky head kick. Inside, he's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Oh. He didn't like that left hand. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Three minutes to go. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh! Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Can't take many of those. You better check. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Oh, Superman punch! Wow! And just like that, the fight is over! He's done! He's done! <laughs> yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop this contest at three minutes, five seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bazooka. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be.